Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Frostpunk. Which does mean, as you can tell, obviously, I've decided to turn this Let's Try of Frostpunk into a full Let's Play. I'm actually having quite a bit of fun with this game, and I want to see it through and see how, how it goes. So, um, I do want to address one thing as well, real quick. Uh, I do appreciate the comments and the suggestions, things like that. I have zero intention of min-maxing this game whatsoever. There might be a more optimal way of doing things, but I have zero intention of doing that. And the reason why is because of the way I like to play survival type games is just literally just put myself in that situation. For every decision I make, what would I make in that situation? Um, for example, that's the reason why I said, let's put the children to work in the safe jobs. Had I gone the other way, we could have eventually let the children help with research, I think. This was one of the other options. Yeah, sure. If I'd gone and looked up what those options were and saw into the future, I could have been like, oh, yeah, maybe it's better to let the children work in research. I, you know, whatever. Uh, but at the time, at that moment, I'm like, no, if I'm faced with life and death situations and we need to gather resources and we have children that can go do some relatively safe resource gathering, that is the decision I'm going to make every single time. Now, I mean, later on down the road, if I were to do this all over again, I might have, you know, learn from my you know, choices, but the first time I play through this, I absolutely 100%, I'm, I intend to make every decision to, to some degree um, with the, uh, in mind of what decision would I personally make in that situation with zero knowledge of the future. Because I wouldn't have zero knowledge of the future if I was truly playing this game. Again, you guys are giving comments and I appreciate it. I'm not really reading your comments, I'll be honest. If you give me comments about suggestions, I'm probably not gonna read them because I don't want spoilers. Because spoilers tells me the future. I wouldn't know the future if I'm actually playing a survival game, right? So that's that's the reason why. So I, 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 I appreciate them, and I'm going to probably thumbs up the comments and say thank you. But more than likely, I might just kind of gloss over them or kind of skim them real quick just to kind of not capture too much of the information if there's spoilers there. Because that just ruins the experience of, of kind of that, can I actually survive with my own decision making uh, and things like that. So that's where I'm at. Um, just FYI. Again, please don't stop commenting. I do appreciate them. And eventually I might go back and read them all. To see what mistakes I did make, you know what I mean. But um, first time through, I just kind of want to—I want to play through it and just, just learn. And and like I said, be a little more realistic with, uh, you know, would I would I go this route? Would I go that route? Things like that. So we do have a little decision point down here. It looks like uh, public penance, choice or duty, sir. A group of preachers is here to talk to you about the public penance law you sign. They think it goes too far. We all agree that the penance should be choice, not a duty. You can't force people towards truth. They must grow freely in their hearts. I would agree that and again kind of going back to what i would say i think pen should be a choice that, that would be if i was literally in this situation that is actually what i believe in real life i would believe i would agree with this it should not be forced you can't force someone to say they're sorry or you can't force you know so i i don't think i agree with that so i think i will consider their words which actually will rise hope uh again i'm making this decision based on what i actually would do maybe it's the better decision maybe it's the worst decision but in this case, it does look like it's going to give us a pretty decent uh, benefit. But it might lead to other benefits. Like, I could see where me saying I know it's right, even though discontent would fall. If I knew the future, that might actually lead to a decision that's more beneficial down down the road. It's not what I would do. So I'm going to go with this route. All right, we'll go with that. Uh, let me just pause for a second. Let me just establish where I'm at. Because I actually did all for first of the six episodes. For the first six episodes, I did them all in one sitting. So it actually has been about a week or so since I played this. So I'm trying to remember where I'm at. We got some very cold here. Obviously, we've got um, we got a couple uh, little steam hubs out and about that are going to be draining our coal quite a bit. We do have a decent amount of coal right now, so we might be okay. I mean, I know things are going to get worse. The whole point of this game, I think, is to just effectively... Well, maybe not the campaign. The campaign, you probably do have a, a victory condition at some point, but I'm pretty sure for, like, if I was playing the sandbox mode or whatever, where it's just survive... Eventually, you're just supposed to fail. <laughs> like eventually, stuff's supposed to be so bad that you fail. So I know that things are going to get worse, and it could very easily fail within the context of the uh, even the campaign here. Because uh, just because we have enough coal today doesn't mean we have enough coal down here where the temperature drops three levels, right? So that's something to think about. Um, okay. So what do I need to do here? I need more food. I need raw food coming in somewhere. Uh, we're about to get us. Another book of laws option here in just a moment. We also got our team out and about. And I think actually they're coming back now with all of these resources. It's going to give us a little bit more steel and a little bit more wood. I mean, we do want wood on the outer edge. Um, we do have the coal mines out and about, but they're not being worked right now. Man, minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. That's kind of cold. 
Um, building a resource depot. We got one gravely sick person. We've got four amputees at the moment. We don't have the amputee thing. Uh, one of the ways that we're going to get the amputee thing, of course, we talked about this, I think, uh, one of the episodes recently, is by, where is it? Industry, maybe? Getting the factory. So I think that might be one of our next researches, getting this factory so we can start getting some of that set up. And then what are we doing? Oh, that's right. We got you on, over we had you on overdrive, which was trying to help maintain some, some heat here. Uh, but I went ahead and turned it off just so we don't, blow up because obviously if we blow this thing up we lose the entire mission i mean i could kick you back into overdrive for a tiny bit more we're about to get the temperature drop let me just put you on overdrive just for a little bit more and we'll monitor that got the little thing there that tells me how how quickly it's going to overdrive we're about to get the weather change so i think we're going to be okay we're getting some raw food coming in we probably need some more um not uh yeah hot houses probably need some more hot houses somewhere to be able to get us a consistent form of of food um now, a piece of information that I think is helpful that somebody put in a comment is how long your people can live without food, right? In real life, I would kind of understand. I, I would know, right? How long can people live without food? And in, just because I know how long I could live without food, I could probably live a week without food. I, I don't know. Maybe I'd probably get very sick and I'd be miserable. But I, I, I could, you know, people fast for weeks and stuff like that. Uh, in the context of the game, though, knowing how much people can live without food before they get super angry within the context of the game, that's that's useful information that doesn't really change how I, you know, the decision making of like certain things that just tells me, OK, maybe I can not prioritize food quite as much as some of the other resources. Uh, so that's that is helpful information, I think, because that's like a game mechanic that is, you know, whatever kind of based off a real life thing, but not one that we have to worry about. OK, so we're going to drop the overdrive now. I uh, went ahead and overdrove, did the overdrive for as long as we could, but we can't do any more. This is a hunter's hut. We don't have it maxed out at the moment, so that would be another way to get us some raw food as well. But again, coal just feels like, and we've got about a day's worth of coal. I mean, we definitely need a, what is, why is it interoperable? Just because we don't need people, right? Yeah. We do have engineers available. Uh, it's the end of the workday. Let's wait till we get to the beginning of the workday and we will figure out what we want to do. Did we just lose somebody? I think we just lost somebody. Because we are getting a, a, a thing in the uh, ceremony here. We're full on hope, though. I mean, things are going great in that regard. So at least in some context. Oh, no. I thought this was about to end, but it's actually the other direction. We had just started it. Uh, we do have a decision point up here. Refugees from Frostland. Unexpected guests. Captain, a group of exhausted survivors has reached our city. From their frantic explanations, we know that they've come a great distance that many of them died on the way. The phrase doom is coming keeps being repeated. And they say many more refugees are following them. They're begging you to help them, sir. We will send out search pointers to bring them to the city. This group will enter our city. You'll decide what to do with the, outside, the others later. I mean, I honestly, in real life, I would go search for the other people if I could. If I had the capability of searching for people, I would search for other people. So I think even though I have a feeling this might lead to a bad result, like maybe these are hostiles or something, is, is that a thing in the game? I still think this is the direction I would ultimately go uh, in this particular situation. So. Uh, cannot presume production requires raw food. Too cold. This is the hot house. Um, which we can turn the heater on to make sure it can run at night. I forgot we had a second hot house. And it does have a full set of workers. So we do have two hot houses available. Completely stocked either with workers or workers and children. Some combination of the two. Uh, what was I just hover? Oh, there we go. Wait, what did I hover? I keep hovering over something that's popping up something. What am I popping up? <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, what am I hovering over that's popping something up? We're popping over the children here. We can see where all the children are working. Okay, fair enough. Oh, our thing is waiting. This must be the group. Oh, no, you haven't actually come back yet. We will explore Tesla City here. The city is modern and meticulously built. A tall tower emits a constant barrier of lightning, deflecting the incoming snow, but nobody comes out to greet us. All right, this sounds like this could just be dangerous. Thunder unleashed. Able minds and bodies will prevail over the cold. Reads the slogan over the entrance to Tesla City. A central tall tower shines with a blue glow of electric discharges, which form a protective dome over the town. But something went wrong here. There are charred bodies laying in the streets, and the stench of burned flesh taints the air. We saw a lightning streak from the tower hitting a building and leaving a gash in its roof. Site discovered fishing village. Uh, risk. The scouts will try to disable the electrical charge. Something tells me this could lose us the scouting party. I wonder if we can circle back around later. Because I don't want them to lose them when they have, like, stuff on. Like, they're carrying stuff at the moment. 
I think we're going to stay away from the city for the moment. We searched the outskirts of the Tesla city. It seems that nobody has survived inside, but some people might have escaped. All right, so we're going to... I'm assuming we could probably come back to this in some way. Maybe we can't. Uh, we do have a fishing village over here. Let's go ahead and just send over to the fishing village while we're here. And we'll circle back. We might want another scouting unit soon-ish, but I feel like we're a little bit low on people at the moment. And what is this? Well, these are the refugees that... We can send out scouts to escort them back. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of people. All right, let's go to the fishing village, and then we might actually come back down here to the refugees and see if we can escort them the rest of the way. I'm assuming some of them will die along the way, but if we can get our scouts over there in time, or alternatively, um, can we send out another scouting thing? Uh, let's go back to the city. Can we set up another scouting group? Yeah, current limit is one, so we don't have enough to support more at the moment. That's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, we did just finish our resource thing. What was that going to be for? I actually had this set up for something. Uh, we probably need more steel storage at the moment. So I don't know if I'm, I might have had some other thing in mind, but at the moment, either steel or wood seems to make sense. And this is right next to... Where's our steel coming from? That's a steel, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that's right. <laughs> okay, this is the steel mine. So this is coming from the steel mine. We'll, co we'll cover that there, and that'll give us some more space for that. We might put another storage thing over here for the lumber, or sorry, the coal, I mean. And then we, eventually we're going to put some lumber things down this way, I think. Although we do still have some lumber and steel and other things over on the side of things. Um, I might actually just have the work engineers just finish picking that up for us the next time we have an opportunity. We still have some workers, so let's go ahead and send up another worker here. Uh, just because we just got a bunch of them coming in from that group. And let's go ahead and max this out as well. And we're not currently getting steel because I think we were close to max at the time. This is a sawmill. This is more lumber. Lumber apparently is very important, I think. Let's go ahead and max that out a little bit. And then we might even put a bunch of engineers in here for now. Just to get some steel coming in. Okay, that gets everything basically worked on again. And we're, we're coming back down on that. We're not overdriving right now, so we're coming back down on this. So that feels pretty smart. Temperature is pretty cold in a lot of places. A lot, a lot of things turned on and heating at the moment. We're just going to be using a lot of coal. I mean, there's probably a good reason to turn a lot of those off. Especially once the temperature goes up a couple more notches here in a bit. So let's go ahead and speed back up here. It's really going to take you 12 hours just to get to the fishing village. A little bit excessive. I mean, these people are going to be back by the time that gets there. I'm sure a lot of them are going to be dead because we haven't sent the scouts out. But hopefully not too much. Too hungry, seven sick. We got food. I mean, I could definitely see the argument for more food. Obviously, we're going to want more coal. All the things are kind of important here. Warm up yet? About to be warm. Okay, so there's the warmth. Let me go back down to lower speed here. So we are getting a little bit warm here. I feel like we're in a volcano or something. Like that's as the steam comes up, it just feels like it's one of those types of things. Let's turn this off. I don't think we're gonna need that anymore. Um in fact, where's all of our temperature overlay stuff? Let's turn all the little different things off that we don't think we need. Don't think we need that. I don't think we need that. These are going to be mostly heated, I think. Uh, that one might be important. Okay, we'll leave that one on. That one might be important. Some of these ones that are in buildings close by, they don't need to be turned on. And I don't know if I have to, how much I have to micro this or if it's something that would eventually just kind of take care of itself. Like, do they run it if they're already warm enough? They probably do. If I turn that off, that gets too cold. If I turn that off, it gets too cold. So uh, most of these other ones, I think, need to be run. Just a couple of the internal ones can be probably stay off. Uh, these are being turned on right now. I mean, I don't know if we really need these on. I don't think we do. I mean, they're going to be cold, yes, but that's just kind of the nature of things, right? Things are going to get cold. Uh, even this one, I think we can turn off. It's not too cold to work, I guess is the point I'm making, right? A storage limit was reached here. Uh, do we have workers out here? Don't we have a gathering post? We do have a gathering post that's currently working. It's just trying to gather coal. So technically, for a little while, we can actually get rid of those. We might as well put as many of those into there as possible. Get some more steel coming in. And everything's still populated at the moment. Modifiers for being near shrines. People are getting treated. Eight sick. Oh, none of them gravely. We might need more medical stuff at some point. Just for reasons. Uh, this one's very cold. We can go ahead and turn on... Oh, well, this doesn't have a heater out here. But that's okay. They're, they're just going to get the rest of this. It should not take them long. Do we see how much is there? I'm sure there's a thing that's telling me how much is there, but I don't see it right now. So we'll get that gathered up and still recovering from our overdrive here. So let's go ahead and speed back up. 
Hot house insulation research. Oh, that's good. That's good. So that means I think we can probably turn off the hot houses, right? Yeah, the hot houses are, well, hot, as you would expect. So we can turn both of those off. I mean, they might work a little bit better if they're on. Um, prevents falling ill. So yeah, they are comfortable if we leave them on. But until we had like a ton of coal, I feel like that's just not critical right now. Um, we just need to keep working on the coal, things like that. Keep that coming in. We are getting, we got three days of coal based on how we're turning everything off. It's definitely given us a lot more coal. Uh, we do have, oops, sorry, pause this. We did just finish the research. I think we want to go ahead and get the factory here. Because I'd like to get the amputees out and about again as well. So if we go ahead and get the factory getting worked on, I think that's going to be good for us. I mean, it's going to get very cold again, but it's going to not be for very long. That's good to know. Scouts have reached the fishing village. Let's go check this out. These guys are coming. They're probably going to die along the way, but let's go ahead and get this explored. A hot spring keeps a tiny patch of sea from freezing here. The Amer Americans use this opportunity to set up a fishing village. It's deserted now. No place for the weak. The fishing village used to supply Tesla City with food. Searching it, we found a letter. Mike, don't return to the city. Glad we didn't explore. Tesla is a madman. He cast out all the amputees, all the sick. Jerry's parents and old Beth are among them. There will be blood, that's for sure, and soon. The village was left in order. Uh, we could send a team here to start fishing. Sites discovered. Research station and ice corridor. Uh, leave the village intact, which means we could send people here to, to fish. I'm assuming that's what it means, right? But be able to build an apples here later. Perfect. Or we could dismantle it. Get a lot of stuff. No, I think we leave the outpost in place. Leave the, load the village in place so we can have an outpost here. Let's see if we can send... Can we send you guys... Uh, we can't, can we? Because it can't be reached. Why can't it be reached now? Huh. Do we just bring you back? Or do we keep exploring? I kind of feel like bring you got some stuff. I think we need to bring you back. Let's just bring you back and see what happens with that. And then we'll, we can always send more guys out later. I just feel like we need to recover what we've collected. All right, let's go ahead and pause. We can go ahead and speed up a little bit. Really just want to keep maxing out all of our resources as needed. Mild frostbite. System becomes ill. That's fine. Fine. Well, I mean, it's not fine, but you know what I mean. Um, does everybody have a house? Oh, you know what? That's something I need to check. Does everybody have a house? Does it not tell us here somewhere? Um, would it not tell us? Because we just got a bunch of people, didn't we? How many people did we get? Do they all have houses? Resolve the situation with incoming refugees, zero of three. All right, well, we'll work on that here in a moment. I thought it told us when they don't have houses, but I'm surprised that everybody has a house. I feel like they shouldn't have houses. Did we ever finish up getting all of the things turned into the better houses? Yeah, I think we did. It looks like we got everybody has a house. I mean, I can come over here and build. We could always build some more bunk houses just to make sure we have extras. Or like the future. I mean, how many can we fit here? Not just into street. I mean, we can put one around the back. I room for something there. It's not much. Uh, let's go ahead and build a road here. Uh, actually, it's kind of an awkward road. Eh, still, we'll just put it like a little bit of a road here. We'll figure it out. That'll at least get a couple more houses taken care of close to the center here. But we got a thing to talk about. The list. Public penance. So this is back on the public penance thing. Sir, a man was brought to us a, has brought to us a long list of names titled A Register of Infidels, Buggers, Seducers, Strumpets, and Other Wrongdoers. He swore on his soul that this information is accurate and all that he wants is for you is, is for them to repent and see the truth. Uh, these people should... No, I'm going to ignore him because, again, we're not going to force people to repent. That is not how we operate. Uh, what is this? This is... We're missing raw food. So we're still just not getting as much raw food as we probably would like. We might need more hot houses. We might need more uh, hunter's huts. All of the above. I mean, obviously, the hunter's huts are closed during the day. Um, we got the two hot houses. And it's not like they're producing a ton, to be fair. 2.9 per hour is not like it's a lot. We do still have about three days worth of food for the moment, or whatever that means. Still wreckage depleted. Okay, so all of that's been done. I just wanted to get that cleaned up just so we know what's done. Um, where would we put you guys? I mean, more wood. Wood is used for a lot of things, so we can put some more chopping stuff over here and down here. That might be a pretty good idea. So if we were to put down resources, uh, the sawmill, 
Put a couple sawmills down here, I guess. Just to finish clearing out some of this lumber. I realize we're not by roads at the moment, but we can fix that momentary, momentarily, I should say. Just realized that button's sitting there, and we could have been doing roads that way the whole time. That is very convenient. All right, let's just move you out to there. Get that connected, and then you can kind of come over here and just... And not to be perfect, just get there. And I don't think that's just... This has to be a longer. It can just be a straight line here. Uh, just as an alternate path, I think I might actually go ahead and... For some reason, now it's not a button. <laughs> uh, I think we will go ahead and just put a road out here as well, just to give us another alternate way to get out here. Might even want to put a stockpile out here while we're at it. Restore depot. Um, just somewhere out this area. Yeah, somewhere in this line, because then we can put a road behind everything here. We'll just put that there, and we'll plant on that being maybe some more wood storage. Not that we're completely capped out, but as we're going to start doing some more, we're going to potentially cap out at some point in the nearest future. All right, we got another option here. Cold homes. Captain, some more people are concerned about the low temperatures in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold. And ask you to address the problem. Let's heat some. Let's heat. All, we'll heat all the homes. We'll keep doing the, the good options here, I think. Three cold homes with 24 hours. Keep them heated for two days. Sure. We'll heat all the homes. Where are the cold homes? So I thought we had just about everything. I mean, I know these two okay there's two bunkhouses there okay so it's just these over here um well then is the option better just to put a road here between them after all i wasn't going to put a road between them but it feels like maybe putting a road between them makes sense and then building a uh, is it their health what is it under tech tech steam hub put a steam hub over here just kind of cover those i mean the one back here actually the one back here would have covered them Come to think of it. So that actually would work. We could just put one out there. Uh, which does mean I could probably get rid of those roads if I really wanted to. But I don't know. We might as well. Right? We don't need it. That one will, back there will cover it just fine. So yeah, we'll get that going. We'll turn that on. Those people will be happy. And we'll get us something from that. Uh, so we're still trying to resolve the situation. Which I'm assuming they're showing up here in a bit. Because these guys are going to get back way after these guys show up. So hopefully all that gets resolved. It's going to be cold here soon-ish, but we're not quite there yet. We are using a lot of coal. Um, so this thing is on, so that should be resolving the temperature issues. Yep, so temperature's good on those, all those homes, so that's good. So far, so good. And we'll get the factory down here in a bit, and that'll give us some more options for other things. I feel like we're cruising. I mean, I know something bad is about to happen, right? The inevitable inevitable bad's about to happen. Refugees from Frostland, running from the storm. A huge crowd of people has reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say they some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way and, and that we'll die without and that they'll die without our help. We'd never have survived it. Thank our lucky stars that the polar explorer Danson warned us about the disaster and told us to evacuate. Please let us in. Um no, I mean, again, the logical choice might be we don't have enough food, we don't have enough space, whatever. What I would do in this situation is I would just let everybody in. We've got to see if we can survive. we got to keep trying to save people, things like that. So that's what my, my choice would be, even though I feel like min-maxing, there could be options for these other ones being better. Uh, okay, so now we've got to fix some stuff, right? we got a lot of sick people, so we definitely need more sick-related things. Oh, we can get the Book of Law stuff. I forgot about that. I didn't see that pop back up. Um, which does mean we might want to go into the House of Healings because this will allow us to get um, it heals people slower, but it doesn't require engineers. Um, treats the gravely ill. Yeah, I feel like this is a good one, especially right now when we need just need to fill in some more stuff. So let's grab that. We're going to keep it paused. How many people are homeless? 42 people are homeless. So, let's go get us some more bunk houses. Um, if we can put them around this little thing, that would probably be pretty useful.
I like that these roads are slightly different <laughs> sizes, you know what I mean? It's bugging me a little bit, but that's okay. We might just put a bunch of houses back here. And then maybe put another one of those things. I guess these would be within the range of the hope. So we need five houses technically, right? Three, four. And we might put a fifth one back here somewhere. It should be within the range of the that thing, which is good. That's five. That gives us enough for everybody. And then we need... I mean, that's, that's a lot of wood. Or was it wood? Right? Yeah, a bunch of wood. A little bit of steel, but a bunch of wood. And then we've also got faith. We've also got the... Where is it? Build a house of healing. Oh, it must be under health. Okay, house of healing. Run by the faithful. Heals the sick and the gravely ill. Slightly slower than an infirmary, but doesn't require engineers. So it is slower, but it will at least get them started healing, right? And it apparently is heated. So, um, where's the best place to put this? Maybe back over here somewhere? Put a road back around this, these back of these houses and just kind of put it off on the side over here. We could also put it back over here. For now, we might just do the one. How many does this actually hold? We'll see. But I still go ahead and put a road down between there just to kind of get us some things connected. I don't know if too many roads is a problem or not. How much do roads actually cost? Do they cost anything? They might They might be free. I don't, actually don't know. I would assume they cost something, though. Time, maybe. That's all it is. All right, so we've got enough bunk houses. I don't know how much this thing holds. Does it tell us here? It doesn't say. It's actually got more heating than the medical station. If that says five beds. This does not say. Part of me wonders if I just want to go ahead and just go ahead and put a second one down somewhere. Just so we have it available. I'm going to go ahead and put a second one down. We'll see. Maybe that's a bad mistake. Maybe. Maybe not. Again, feels like it's a good idea to just kind of get as much down as we can. Obviously, we're going to be a little bit slow in building some of these things at the moment. Um, hopefully, we've got a bunch of uh, engineers here. We are maintaining livable conditions for these houses, so that's good. We're building the House of Healing. We resolved one thing of incoming refugees. We absolutely need more food. Uh, with all these refugees, we absolutely need more food. So that's going to be some more stuff we're going to need to do. Let's go ahead and get us some more... I mean, we're not capped out on raw food. So we have plenty of cookhouses at the moment to support everybody. So it's really just the raw food that we need. So let's go and get some more hunter's houses floating about. Maybe at least two of these. That's kind of my feeling. Put one there. And we'll put maybe one back here somewhere. Uh, I don't like how that lines up. Honestly, do we, does it have to be close by? I don't know. Technically, that would sort of fit. We'll just put one there. We'll get those filled up as well. And then we might even put another hot house down. People are about to go back to work. We're getting stuff built. About to get our medical thing. We've got, we've got another one over here after that. Houses are going to go start going down. It's starting to feel a little bit better. It's about to get cold again here in a moment. Uh, okay, so that is... Uh, house of healing so apparently we could just put children in the house of healing let's put like half and half maybe kind of a lot of engineers honestly we can use just engineers as well though that is definitely an option <laughs> we got plenty of engineers uh this is a uh this one just needs workers we'll can put 15 there we actually probably need to trim off some workers in other places this is a resource depot uh then we're gonna put lumber here i believe we sure have plenty of space we're actually getting low on lumber so that's something i need to fix in a bit. More houses are popping up. They might need to be heated, but for now, we're okay. House of Healing built. House of Healing has been built in accordance with the new law. Hope rises. So we got lots of hope. We might be hoping ourselves to death, but we've got lots of hope. Um, does it say how many people it's being taken care of? I guess. What was this, 15 before? So I think it moved up by 10. Yeah, 10. So we can hold 10 in each of these. Uh, so this will be another 10. So we'll still be 16 short, which is not great. Obviously, this is not glare thing food at the moment. Um, so we still need something else for the rest of our sick people. I might build one more just normal medical post because we do have engineers available. 
So something like this could work. It's kind of awkward, but it does technically fit there. Let's leave a little bit of a gap for kind of a weird gap, but. Uh, over here actually kind of makes some sense as well. We'll put that there. That'll give us at least five more. I think we'll only have 11 that are not currently be taken care of, but as some other people get healed up, hopefully that'll help that. Actually, just realize the time. We're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll see. I'm assuming we're going to get two more waves of refugees. Is that, that would that tell me one of three, or is it just two more events? It could just be two more events. But, um, oh, there's how many people we got. 61. We got a lot of unemployed engineers at the moment. Plenty of people to be continuing to stockpile things. So I'm definitely going to keep pushing that a bit more. Um, we got the lumber. Oh, you know what? I haven't faxed these out yet. These can actually just currently be just all engineers because we got plenty of engineers for those. All right, we're going to put a cut in there when we come back. More of this. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.